another video if you're new here my name is Kyra do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this video so girl I'm in a rush I only got like a couple minutes to get ready girl so this is just how I get my quick flawless foundation makeup routine and I'm so excited because Charlotte Tilbury is sponsoring this video <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to be showing y'all all the products that I use from Charlotte Tilbury. And also, if you shop on charlottetilbury.com for these products, will be which will be listed down below, you'll get access to free makeup classes by pro makeup artists. Pro makeup artists. And you already know these pro makeup artists be charging the arm and the leg. So if you go on charlottetilbury.com, you'll be able to access pro makeup artists tips and tricks. And who doesn't want to keep learning about makeup? They are having a 30% off summer sale. So make sure y'all go shop on charlottetilbury.com. So you'll be access to the master classes and also the summer sale, which you'll be getting 30% off. So I just noticed <laughs> before we even get started, I just noticed that I have a little mustache has on my upper lip. So I'm going to be shaving that off. And I don't even have a lot of time. Um, honestly, I've been watching Love Island UK and it's making me sound like this. Like, literally, I have a text. So we're just going to get started. I don't have much time, girl, so we got to make this quick but flawless, okay? So I am going to be using the Charlotte Magic Cream. Y'all, this cream has made such a transformation in my face in such a short period of time. I just started using this this week, and y'all, when I tell you, I was complaining um, in my last vlog how my skin was looking so dull, and it was just looking very, very dry, and I don't like that, so I started using the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, y'all instant glow instant glow i remember i started using this at nighttime girl i woke up my skin was glowing i was like wow and it's supposed to reduce wrinkles as well so and i want to use this in combination with the magic serum i want to pick that up as well so i'm going to see how it transforms my face and it does have hyaluronic acid in here which is going to you know moisturize your face that's my key ingredient when i'm looking for a good mo moisturizer is hyaluronic acid because it's really gonna you know lock in moisture so your face is gonna you know have a healthy glow so anything that's gonna make me look good without makeup girl because i don't like wearing makeup on a daily basis anyways i'm gonna keep y'all updated on how my skin is looking and feeling after like a good month after using this cream um morning and night so and i'm pretty excited so then next y'all i'm gonna be using the flawless filter hollywood foundation and i'm in the color six and tan um, this is a little orange, so I am going to mix it with, um, another foundation. So, but I really love mixing my foundations with a light and then a more tan color to get my perfect match. What shows are, are y'all into these days? Because I've been really a homebody <laughs> because I've been trying to get my work done and also, um, Girl, I, I need to really start exploring Atlanta, but I've really been into watching um, shows lately and like movies. For when I get really overwhelmed, what calms me down are shows or like movies. So what are y'all's favorite shows right now? Because I want to tune in and I'm going to wet my beauty blenders real quick, come back and blend in my foundation. I just put my concealer on as you can see very much snatched I'm gonna set my concealer with the magic powder and this is how I really conceal my under eyes so I only take a thin layer of my powder and I apply it with a almond shape looking brush I don't know and just set my under eyes before baking and y'all your under eye will be so snatched and I like this powder because it does increase and I really like that because I really like my under eyes to be snatched, gone, invisible, magic, powder, exactly. 
exactly so now <laughs> so now i'm about to apply my airbrush bronzer y'all this is my favorite bronzer to contour with because it's not too harsh on me i can't really use a lot of I can't use a lot of crazy bronzers because features are already very strong and if I just do too much contour or anything too harsh on my face, I'll look, you know, very much drag queen and I don't want to go that way, okay? This just makes me look super sun-kissed, very contoured. So I focus right here and then I'll just go down so I can have that really contoured look. My face is looking so flawless already and I'm not even done. So then I'm going to take some more of the magic powder and this is when I'm going to bake my face. And then I'm just going to set my contour underneath. And what I like to do is brush away some of the powder so it doesn't leave like a harsh line between my contour and my highlight. So, dang girl, we move a little quick, quick. So now I'm going to retake my bronzer. And this is what I like to do um, normally. I use my bronzer contour color as a eyeshadow. So, because I'm really, I really don't like color, y'all. I'm really a simple girl. I just like brown eyeshadow. It just enhances my eye shape and I really love it. So I just like to stay in the crease. And it just enhances my eye shape. I don't go up with it. I literally just stay in the crease. But we have our eyeshadow on. It's time for the fun part. I am going to be taking Tan Flawless Finish Airbrush Foundation. And I only like... <laughs> let me stop. I don't know why I'm obsessed with like a British accent. If you grew up to watch my channel, you should know I love the British accent. Like, I just want to go to London. I want to go to London. Anyways, I'm just taking the flawless finish. And I'm going around my contour just so everything is blended and flawless. Brushing away that powder. And my forehead just everywhere. And I don't do it on my under eye yet just because I'm going to go in with the other color. So I'm going to be taking medium and I'm going to be setting my under eye with that color. And I don't really like to wipe away the powder. I just like to press it in. And y'all, I have the mini version and I put it in my purse. And when I'm out and about, like, because I normally, I grow, I be sweating. I be sweating so bad. And then when I'm in a club and stuff like that, drinking and all that, I just get very, very sweaty. I get oily. And if you have that problem too, go grab the mini version of this. Put this in your purse, girl. With, with the sponge, girl, your makeup is going to look so fresh. I'm telling you, keep it in your bag because... It's a lifesaver. And I'm going to link it down below so you can grab it. Now I'm just going to spray this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray for now. I like to spray my face throughout me applying. I'm just applying blush to my face. Y'all, blush is my favorite part. <laughs> it just brings my face back to life. And I naturally look flush, so I really love like a pink, pink, pink blush. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. And I only highlight my nose. I don't highlight any other places. I really love a matte face. And like I just told y'all, my face gets really oily. So I really don't be, I'm not really into that look anymore. I'm just not. I just like to highlight my nose just to enhance my nose contour to make it really pop with like a little brush. But that's about it. Like I don't. 
do anything else and I just do the bridge of my nose and then the tip and that's it that's totally it like they don't do anything else. wow my face looks so good oh my god <laughs> so now it's time for lips my favorite part and this is Charlotte Tilbury's lip liner it's called lip cheat and this color is foxy brown you already know I love me a good brown liner and y'all, this lip liner just glides on. And it's everything. This has been my go-to lip liner lately. If you guys notice, my lip filler has been fading in my top lip. So I really need that good contour brown. And it's so easy to blend. It just looks so good. See? It just looks so good. Y'all need this. Y'all need this. Like, if I wanted to, I could just wear it just like this. And then put some lip chap if I wanted to. That's what I do on a regular daily basis. Because I don't like when my lips look. small i like my lips to look big so on a everyday basis i just like to align my lips and then just put like a lip chap on top mm. look at that top lip look at it <laughs> okay girl so i'm about to do my hair my makeup is finished <gasps> it looks so good i'm about to spray my face again I look good okay so I'm gonna do my hair and put my clothes on and I'm gonna come back cuz I gotta hurry up cuz I got somewhere to be and yeah I'll be right back okay y'all so I just put on my clothes um, this cute little daytime outfit so like I said I'm in a rush but thank you so much Charlotte Tilbury for sponsoring this video I'm so happy to be working with them oh my god and my makeup turned out so good I can always depend on Charlotte Tilbury products to make my skin flawless okay so anyways y'all that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the magic cream is really what i'm loving right now y'all it's so hydrating to the skin it's gonna make your skin glow and then also i love the bronzer if you have really strong features like me this is going to give you that perfect contour that you need to look sun-kissed and not doing too much you know that perfect soft contour you know and then like i said y'all my favorite the airbrush flawless finish powder i use tan you know all around the perimeter and then i use medium for my highlight and then i also have the mini medium touch-ups for when i'm going out so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all next video bye <laughs>